This is Adam Paxson on Sunday, August 12th, the day after Mitt Romney has announced uh, Paul Ryan as his running mate. Um, I am with Lenore Friedman right now. She uh, is a senior, about to be a great-grandmother, uh, who is Jewish, not particularly Orthodox, um, and uh, she has some strong opinions about the stereotypes of older Jews, which are probably exaggerated in the media, but are certainly a factor in uh, Florida. And uh, she has some opinions about the selection of Paul Ryan, and, uh, well, welcome, Lenore. Hello. Uh, what did you think of, the first of all, the Paul Ryan selection? When I first heard the name, I really didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. And then I spoke to a friend, mm -hmm. and he jumped for joy. So I figured, well, he must be a great guy. Mm -hmm. So then I saw him on TV, and I heard him. And with my background, I mean, I studied, I had courses, not that, I don't think it was so much the psychology courses, it's just gut feelings. I liked his face. I saw an honest guy. I saw, when I saw him with Romney, I saw the connection between the two. I saw that they really liked one another. And then I did some research. I got on the computer and I found out about his budget and I found out that he's been, I believe, in the House of Representatives for what, 13 years? He's had, I guess, seven terms. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Yeah. And I heard about his, ch his childhood, mm -hmm. how he, I think he was an intern mm -hmm. before, and I actually heard that him, that man on TV, um, who he, 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 we, or, I don't know how old he was. That was after his job with Oscar Mayer. I think he worked with him. Yeah. I liked him. You just had a good gut feeling about him. I should have, I should have mentioned before you're a former social worker, which right. is a field, and you're in Philadelphia as I am. Uh, and it's a field that is very much dominated by union people and by people who are much more left-wing even than more so than even union people who work with their hands and who have actual you know physical skills uh, and so you're somewhat of an iconoclast particularly of uh, senior Jewish women who worked as social workers um, yes yes and <laughs> to put no. it mildly yes and no uh -huh. I I relate to people of all ages okay mm -hmm. I have friends that are not seniors mm -hmm. and not Jewish Oh, of course. I know yeah. what you're saying, but when you hear the media talk about, especially in Florida, where older Jewish voters really are much more important than anywhere else, you hear about these condominiums where the Democrats are just vicious. These senior Jewish women, especially more than men, are just vicious. My mother lived in one of them for years, for 35 years. She lived in a condo uh -huh. in uh, North Miami Beach, Florida. And uh, by the way, I lived there when I was a kid, and uh -huh. I never liked Florida too much. But right. I don't, but I'm not like them. No, I know, but there's an element of truth to the stereotype, because you deal with that in your high-rise apartment building where there are a lot of senior Jewish people, former teachers, and, right? Yes, and they're committee people uh -huh. for the Democratic Party. They're, they were like that when they were younger. My synagogue is like that, mm -hmm. okay? I cannot understand it. You can't understand what in particular? That Jewish people would vote for Obama when he is not pro-Israel, uh -huh. when he treated Netanyahu shabbily, when he never visited Israel. He, I, think he's, I think he's the only president that did not visit Israel during his presidency, at least that I can remember. Yeah, as far as I know, certainly recently. Yes, and who really doesn't give a darn about Israel. I don't understand all these Jewish people that support him. Yeah. I cannot, I mean, I really, unless it's self-serving mm -hmm. because they're union, mm -hmm. Or, but they're vicious, aren't they? The ones on your vicious building? is not the word for it. When I go to vote, uh -huh. I'm one of the few Republicans uh -huh. in my building. You're, I'm, you're almost, I'm almost attacked. I mean, not physically, but verbally. Like? They grab. Yeah, they know already. Here comes uh -huh. the Republican. Uh -huh. Here comes the conservative. Uh -huh. I, I use that word more than Republican. Right. Because I was independent for a while, mm -hmm. but I, oh, I, I'm conservative. Because mm -hmm. I believe in everything. That the, I believe in 
I, I, I do not I believe in the Bible. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in gay marriage. Mm-hmm. And I don't believe in abortions unless it's for medical reasons and it's mm-hmm. an emergency. But that I've always believed. Yeah, that's the Jewish position, and if it's the health of the mother that's being threatened. Oh, that, or something happened to the baby, and right. it's not alive anymore. Right. But I cannot understand, and I, you know, I've given up trying to understand. Right. I'll never accept it. Mm-hmm. But I realize that I'm a minority, and I think it's in Philadelphia. I mean, in my building, being right. a Jewish person who feels the way. She, she does. Yeah. I do. So, and you find that they're almost verbally attacking you and they're oh, they trying do. to make you feel very uncomfortable. They do, but they can't make me uncomfortable. Right. Because I know what I am and I know what I feel and think. Have you had any interactions uh, since the selection of Ryan with uh, yes. Loudmouth Democrats yes, in the building? Yes, today on the elevator, as a matter of fact. What happened? Well, I got on and I spoke to a woman, I don't even know her name, but Uh she lives on my floor. And I said, gee, I wish I got an earlier start because I was going shopping. She said, why, were you watching the Olympics? I looked at her and I said, no, I was watching Romney and Ryan. She said, oh. And I thought, you know what, they're not even going to watch the debate because they don't want to think. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be wrong. So they'll be confused if they hear it because they made up their mind before Romney was even selected. Mm-hmm. I firmly believe that. Any final thoughts on the selection of Ryan or on Romney in general? I have a feeling we'll be coming back to you for another interview again before too long, but any final thoughts on the big event? I just pray, I hope, that the majority of the, in this country mm-hmm is not like this little group. <laughs> no, I don't think. Most of America is not like a, a senior-oriented not. Jewish uh, dominated building. Right. Fortunately. And I hope they really care and love this country like I believe Romney and Ryan do. Mm-hmm. And I hope they win. And I think they will. I think so, too. Well, Lenore Friedman, thank you for your time today. Oh, you're welcome. We'll be talking it's to you my again. My pleasure.